one. I want one game versus Dozo. That's not too much to ask. I've played like 40 ladder games this season. 675. You better have Dozo, bro. Dozo! We did it! We got Dozo! Okay, here we go. This is, this is it, boys and girls, friends of all ages. I can finally use the Trevenant. I can finally use the Trev. Let's see, what is the play into this then? What is the actual play? You gotta bring the Trev, right? I feel like you wanna go, you wanna bait them. You wanna bait the EQ super hard. I feel like Whimsicott's a good lead. Like Wim's Trakeon's great. And then you just pivot in the Trev. Oh, but then like, my Terra on the Trakeon's really required to be, no, it's fine. Trev's good. Close with Flutter, like I'm good. It's time to use Trevenant. Imagine they don't bring it, good. Freaking get that, get that out of here, bro. Dozo, ain't never even heard of it. If you don't bring your Dozo, I roll all four of your Mons with Terrakion. So like, go nuts. Yo, thank you for the follow. Hmm. Let's see what they got. Dude, they're thinking about it. It's, it's, it's time. Trevenant. I've been waiting my whole life for this, bro. Trevenant. We're about to be Trevenant gamers out here. It's time. Hmm. Let's see. Are they gonna lead Dozo? Landorus and Clamora. So that's what you should be leading here. And I'm wondering if I need to Tailwind. Gotta go. Thanks for the great stream. Thank you for so much for stopping by. I appreciate it. We're gonna take the Intimmy. I wonder if they're gonna like double into Whims. Because like they can't both respect, they can't respect both, right? Um, I don't need to Tailwind here though. I outspeak with Mora, and I'm not afraid of the Lando. So like, I could just go beat up Rock Slide. This is fine. I don't mind the Tailwind either. Yep. Yep, totally okay. Let's see, what are you gonna do here? Mortal spin, I'm already poisoned, it's cool. I'm, I'm, I'm happy I chose to do this because they're doubling into my whims, right? Like, I don't really care if they go into the Trakeon, it's fine. U-turn, there it is. Oh, they U-turn their own Glamora, bro! What a gamer, okay. Not bad. Is it Dozo time? Is Dozo time indeed? Don Dito himself is making their presence known. Okay. Let's see what Trevenant has in store for this little guy. So we're pivoting up first because we have the tailwind up. Look at that. It's shiny, bro. I'm I'm poisoned, but it's fine. Pivot out for Tatsu, right? Show me that Tatsu. Let's go. Don't care. Nice. All right. So we're just vibing here with Trevenant. We are poisoned. Trevenant the Tiny Bro. You ever heard of that? Let's go. Protect up. Because you don't just want to die. Like, I ain't about that just yet. Body press, bro. <laughs> Holy moly, dude. He woke up and chose that violence himself. Okay. We're going to do some stuff here. Is it worth it? Like, what is this Trakeon really doing that's valuable here? It's probably not great into Lando. So, like... But I don't need this whims for like anything anymore. So you can just pivot in the whims and let it die. And if it doesn't die, like it's fine. I just set. Ooh, I just set uh, 
sunny day and do whatever or moon blast. I don't care. Yeah, that's fine. Let's go. Yeah, there's no reason just to fodder, right? <sighs> Haze. Making plays. Fud days. No more stat changes. And that's okay. Haze, boys. Let's go, Trevenant. All right, what's the actual still play here? Like, I'm about to just, bruh. I don't need to reseed you. I could just kill you, bro. I think I am on a sunny day because then I get my harvest like value for like a little bit later on the game. I don't need to moon blast right now. I think sunny day and then bring out flutter is probably the right play because we're probably gonna lose the whims this turn to something. And Trevin about to be popping off out here. Horn leech. Are you Rocky Helmet? We're gonna see. Fisher hits the trap! No, dude! My baby boy! <laughs> dude, never lucky, bro. <laughs> dude, that's funny. Dude, he just fishered me, bro! Fisher Price! Oh my god. Ah. Uh... It's alright. Good play. Okay, they have a Lando in the back, and they have Glamora in the back. I feel like we can just melt the Dozo. I get one more turn. Yeah, they're going to protect. It's okay. We'll do a stupid next turn. We get the Dozo off the board, then they have to send out the Glamora. I think with both these combined, I pop the Glamora. The first Fisher. Poor Trevenant, dude. Oh, this might kill. This probably kills. Nice, and then Tatsu goes down too. Yeah, I like that I did this instead of uh, Tailwind. Because I don't think you need a Tailwind anytime soon. We have the Sun. And we just take out the Tatsu here. Clock Sash. Almost. Holy shit, dude. Why are you so thick? That's probably made with Mirror. I wouldn't be surprised if there was Mirror Coat there. Um, but then, like, what comes out here? Is it Glamora? Trakion's probably cracked in the Glamora. Honestly, if I can do, if I can stick one Moonblast into the Glamora, I'm fine. Yeah, this is fine. They haven't terastalized yet. If that's Scarf Tatsu, though, I need to hit it. They're going to go Steel Terra. I'm going to go Pivot in here. No, I don't like that either. You know what? I think I'm still fine. I'm going to respect the Tatsu. I think it's going to go Scarf. I, I think it's Scarf Steel Terra and it would pop the Flutter. And I'm respecting that. I'm respecting those options. Oh, dude, no. Ow, that hurts. Ah, oh, that hurts, man. That's fine, then. Okay. It's not Scarf, I don't care. Not Scarf, I don't care. Rock Slide will break the Tatsu. It'll do like 30% to Glamora. I think we just popped the Glamora this turn, honestly. Oh, why am I scared of Scarf Tatsu? It's Scarf Lando. Oh my gosh. No one noticed. No one said anything, bro. It's not me. It's not just me. We're all playing on Scarf Tatsu out here. Like, it's actually a thing. It can't even be a thing. This should KO. They might pivot in Lando, but like, I think we're still fine. Double protects. I can see that. I can see the value there. They get a double spiky shield, bro. No, no, dude, that sucks. That is bad for me, bro. 
Good thing I rocks and didn't take the extra chip. We gotta hit this Tatsu. Nice. And then I have one one to two turns left of Sun, so I just pop the Lando. This should break Lando, I think. Yeah, I'm starting to tick out. How many spiky shoots you got back there, buddy? I mean, <laughs> that's what it's gonna come down to. It's actually just gonna come down to whether or not we can one-shot their Lando, right? I think that's the one thing it comes down to, is we need to one-shot their Lando with the, um... Sorry, with the... Flutter. Last turn, Sun. Like, if you got something weird, like, go nuts. But, like, if you got a Moonblast, that guy... I should probably just swap out my Tarakion for Whims and come back in and have a non-intimidated Sacred Sword. That's probably the right play. If that Lando has Protect, like, go nuts. I just don't think it does. I think it's Scarfed. And I think our best shot's just to Oko it with the Flutter. Let's see what we got. Thank you for the follow. No, it has Protect Lando, dude! And so they won that game off a of double Protect Glamora. Ah! Fuck! It is Protect, so it wasn't Scarfed. So that, that Tatsu might have... No, where was the Scarf? Where is the Scarf, bro? Protect Lando, dude. I think we're still fine, but like the fact that I'm unintimidated, they're going to protect. Yeah, but then I don't need to. Ah, this is such a weird board state, right? This is so weird. If they get a double protect Lando, we lose. If they get a double protect Lando, we lose. Double protect Lando, we lose the game. You already hit me once with a double protect. You already hit me with a Fisher. How many more double protects do you need? Might as well play Parish Trap if this is going to be your luck, bro. Let's go. They didn't even try and double protect. They're trying to just eat it. No, they lived, but good to me, Rock Slid. They're like, ha, I win. And I'm like, no, you don't, bro. Get that out of here. Don't you dare earth power my Trakion. Please just get flinched and let me win. Please, please just get flinched. Let's go. Let's go. Built different out here. Oh. I think that's game. I think you need to double spiky shield me again. Right? You need to double spiky shield me again. I take a chip here. You need to double spiky shield me. That's one. I could just do rock slide if I don't want to take damage. That's not the right play. Because if I do this and they don't have an attack, like, you know what I mean? Like, I still think I live anyways. You might need to triple. That's right. You have failed in your strategies, luckiest opponent ever. You have failed. You fissured my Trevenant. You get out of there. They don't have Earth Power. They got nothing, bro. We win. Taking those wins all the way to the bank. Trevenant. Trevenant did it. <laughs> we beat the demon, bro. Trevenant busted. I'm probably just going to bring Trevenant to this game. No matter what. I'm just going to, top 530 player, I'm just going to bring Trevenant, and we're going to see what happens. Because I haven't just brought Trevenant to matchups it's not supposed to come to yet. Um, and so what I think I'm going to do here, let's see. I really like Chiyu Flutter here. I like it. I like it a lot. And then I'm going to go Trev as my pivot for Water Pond all-ins. And then... Do I want Trakion? Trakion's great at closing out the game, but I'm going to use Terra somewhere else probably, and that Water Pond's probably fast, so like, this is probably right. Yeah. Cool. Let's go. So we're using a little bit of Trev Indeedy in the back. Do not try this at home, children. Trevenant is only for the most experienced of trainers. Because it's, it's hard to use Trevenant without 
protect on your teammates, bro. <laughs> Trevenant needs Trevenant needs the support of his friends. And uh if you can't protect them, it can't save them. <laughs> Let's go. Let's see what they got. Yeah, water pawn, uh flutter, great play. Alright, so in this board state, I feel like you have to terrestrialize your water pawn. Right? You have to you have to lead that way, by the way, because I have Wim's truck young. Um and then you have to terrestrialize your water pawn because like I could just blow you up like dazzling heat wave and you lose. So if you're gonna do that, I'm just gonna win. <clears throat> show me that water terra, dude. Show me that water terra, show me I don't care. And let's go. Let's go. Let's go some let's trade. Let's trade. Oh dude, they're thinking about it. They're big thinking about it. Now they could just actually like follow me fodder the ogre pawn and just like moonblast my my flutter main and we lose but we win we win these you're scared bro i i'd be i'd be scared to heat wave dazzling too you, you ain't got nothing to switch on that right so like you don't want to mess you don't want to mess with me either but show me that water terror dude show it to me that's my terror first please show me water terror ogre pawn please i beg of you show me that water terror ogre pawn It's gonna be so sweet when they water terror, dude. It's gonna be nice. Oh my gosh, dude. Let me hit this. Come on. Come on, let me, let me just hit this. Nice terror, by the way. Appreciate it. Donation accepted. Helping us hit the goal to Charlotte. Every water pond. <laughs> another another sub goal. Here we go. They're like, dude, I got a nice plus one spadef. And I'm telling them to plus one Ds, bro. Ruination. Go to half. Break the wrist. Walk away. This should KO. Chi, you damage shred. Bruh! Free throw! <laughs> what are they gonna do about it, bro? What are they gonna do? What are they gonna do? Yeah, dude, that's the reference. They can get this citrus berry, but like, I could just do it again. You know, I could just sit, I could just dazzle them again. They have to send out their flutter here and have a fake out pin, but then I just pivot, right? Um, I pivot out for my NDD, you fake out, I kill your Sin, chunk your flutter for like 80%, and then I just do it again, because my flutter is faster than yours. We brought Trevenant this time, too. Not that we need it. Oh, nice flutter. Like I said, we have the check for that. Checks and balances. Do it again. And they say I'm not regionals ready, man. Dude, I'm ready. I'm doing this with like five and a half Pokemon. Oh, yeah, we're max speed timid, dude. I know what I'm about. Ruination, Scarf Q, Crack. It's good, dude. I've been telling you guys the whole time, man. Fake out? Ain't never even heard of it, bro. Nice and sin. Nice and sin. Oh, they actually are faster. They want a speed tie. They want a speed tie. I can't. I can't. But now they're, now they're locked into Moonblast. <laughs> so, like, I don't care. <laughs> they would just re follow me. Hey, they want a speed tie though. Good, good job for them. I never lose speed ties. I always win those. I may get flinched, crit, burned, fissured, but I always win my speed ties, bro. But now you're locked in a Moonblast. And they can go, like, Rilla. They had a Rilla on this team, right? Yeah. Good play. I don't think it matters, though, because, like, if you fake out the NDD, I could still just win a speed tie, and then I just win with Chiyu, right? I don't think you can ever really win here. That being said, um, I can just Psychic here, and the only way we lose is by using the Treff. <laughs> I don't really need Psychic there. Let me think about what I want to do here. Yeah, I think the right play is Psychic here, and Pivot in Chiyu, and then re-bring out our Flutter, and then we have Follow Me Up, and that's it. Because they're gonna moonblast, and they're probably the right play here. If I was them, would be to fake out the entity and moonblast this spot. And it doesn't really matter if you do that, because then I just bring out the flutter in every direction and I win. Grassy bite you? Oh, dude, no, no, no. Yep, cool. Don't care. Just get KO'd, bro. Oh, dude, that chi you, that chi you shredding up the flutters, but now. Oh, the rage quit. Top 500 player rage quit. Ah, dude, I'd be pissed too. I'd be pissed too, man. I ate so much glue, you just had to turn it off. I get it. I understand. Well, then goes 
not fun to fight against, but if that's Scarf Urshi, I'm like really sad. Scarf or she's problematic here. Let's see how we handle this. I just want to fight Dozo, dude. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna roll every single person until I see it. Let's see what they got. I wonder if all these people are like, what does the Trevenant even do, bro? Yeah, we just got a new follower. Thank you. Thank you for dropping a follow, yo. I try and get, I should make more like follower goals. I, I honestly, I think follower goals are more important than like sub goals a lot of the time. Cause like, if you can get someone to click that follow button, they're probably gonna come around for the next stream. It means they're gonna come around for the next stream. And you know, you make friends with those people and that's how you grow the community, you know? Yeah, I'm not a fan of Urshi. I'm not a fan. Urshi kind of busted. It invalidates like most mechanics of the game. But let's see what they got here. Let's see. Urshi water and Latios. Again, if this is Scarf Lat, if this is Scarf Urshi, like I'm just big sad. Thank you. I don't like this play, but I'm gonna do it. I do not like this play. It's fine. But I think it's right. I could have went side beat up into the Trachion, but if that Latius, we'll see how the Latius, like I'm trying to bully the Latius here the best that I can. And I know they want to set Tailwind. And it's like next turn, I'm going to weave in a Protect and Moonblast. This is one of those really weird situations where I, I feel like if I flinch there, so this is what I mean. They could have just hit me with a Psychic Attack here. I couldn't have stopped that in any of the situations. But, oh God, that's Banded. Well, that sucks. That changes a lot of things. Oh, am I going to die? God damn it. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's a Multiplier there. I don't think Mystic Water Adamant does it. I think they're Banded. Um, but then the plan here would have been to like pivot slash protect the Tarakion, conditioning an Urshi swap out because then I can do the beat up thing, and then I just Moonblast the Latias. But that being said, I still still think I'm fine. Um, yep. Sucks I Tailwind traded, but like it's okay. We're gonna be bad. Okay. Dango, maybe? Dango D's though? And Sin. Okay. Sin's a good mon here. I mean, yeah, we lost our Terra on the first turn of the game, you know? Like, we're in. We're not the happiest of campers here. But I think they have a Dango somewhere. And if I can do the right damage into these mons, Chiyu peels. Chiyu just ends it. God, Dango fucking works us so hard here, though. <sighs> All right. Hmm. Yeah, if I just want to... It's banded Urshi, right? So it's like... Water, huh? Booster, what? Booster speed flutter, what the hell? Huh. I mean, I get sunny day and then I'm pretty sure I outspeed, but they're gonna fake out. All right, so they're gonna fake out and go, they're gonna shadow ball my flutter. They could still Terra too, they should just Moonblast it. 
I'm trying to think of what the exact best play is here. I'm going to Moonblast here and pivot in my Chiyu. And then I'm going to Heat Wave pin their Flutter. Yeah, I don't hate that. I mean, you just go after my Whims, I don't care either. Like, I can't, I don't protect, you know, nothing I can do about that. Um, there's also a board state where they double into the whim slot. Sub. Well, I made the right play. <laughs> I made the right play, bro. Holy shit. Really, huh? Wow. Sub flutter. It's been a while, right? It's been a hot minute since I've seen a sub flutter. And who are you flare blitzing? Which one? Which one of these guys gets the flare blitz? Oof. Is that a crit? That's just how much that does. Oh, that is a crit. That sucks. That's really bad. <sighs> that sucks. That crit is so bad for me. I can't do anything about that. I think if I didn't get crit there, I was fine. As long as it doesn't burn me, I'm still in the situation I want to be in, by the way. Don't burn me. Don't burn me. God damn it! Oh, fuck! Dude, really, bro? The crit flare blitz into the burn, too? Oh, my God, dude. I was fine. I was so fine. Ah, uh, that's frustrating. Yeah, dude, I had it. I had it. The only way I win here is if I crit their flutter. But imagine if I still had my whims, you know what I mean? I have to dazzle, right? I have to. I'm trying to think about board suit where I don't, but no, I have, I have to crit their flutter with the dazzle. Oh my god, dude, we were so. Oh, we did crit. We did crit the flutter. All right, hey, you know what? I can't even be mad, bro. We played to our outs. Don't even say that we didn't, bro. Yeah, I mean, it'd be cool if I didn't die, but I think I'm dead. They also have, they have to have, like, yeah. I mean, if they don't have Aqua Jet, I win. If they don't have Aqua Jet, I win. What Urshi? What's self-respecting Urshi who doesn't have Aqua Jet? But you see if I had the whims there, how that would have still been game? They couldn't do both. They can't respect both. They would have lost the Flutter that turn. I would have had whims and Flutter versus the Urshi. I mean, hey, if you don't have Aqua Jet, I win. Damn. Ugh. Never lucky, bro. The crit on my Chi was really bad. The burn on my Insin was really, or the bur burn from the Insin was really bad. I think we played really well though, uh, all things considered. You know, we played to our outs. This is rough, but I think it's right. This will be hard. This is a hard matchup. Uh, if the Pult has a good Terra, we are in for a bad time. But if my Flutter wins the speed tie with the Shen Pao, we win. 100% game will be over. If I beat the Flutter, if I win the speed tie on the Shen Pao, we win. Because I'm going to be able to clock their Sash and if they Ice Spinner my Entity and when I follow me, you need to be able to live to actually have the Ice Spinner effect go off and I'm Rocky Helmet. So I should be fine. And let's see if they want to go like Water Pond stuff. I don't want to lead, like I don't want to lead Flutter uh, Chiyu into Water Pond. I'm probably going to go more passive and just go like, you know, Indity Flutter and eventually take that out. And then I bring up my Chiyu when you're at like 30, 40% and then Dazzling Okosher uh, Water Pond and I win the game. It's kind of what we're looking here. But let's see. What are they gonna do? I just wanted to play Dozo, man. Shimpa Dragapult. I think that's the right weed. That's one of the reasons why I still really like Indy here. Because right now they're just like, oh. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> what do they do, bro? What do you got? You're gonna like, you gotta have like Lash Out or something weird. You know, you gotta have like Dark Terra Pult. Because like we eat, we should be e able to eat the darts pretty easily. So we're just gonna follow me here. And we're just gonna go Fairy Terra Dazzling Gleam. I'm gonna get this cat out of my room. All right. 
Right there, he really thought he was going to catch, like, uh, Chiyu, I think, and there was just no Chiyu to be caught. How's Bowser going? We've won every single game that we've played for over an hour, bro. I just get bored of winning. It's just so easy. <sighs> no, I, I, um... I, I, I think I have, like, Electabuzz stuff. Okay, so we're just faster than both of them. Are they Adamant Pole, bro? Bro, Adamant Pole don't do it! Uh-uh, <laughs> no, fam. No, no, no. Adamant, they were Adamant, right? 100% win rate, here you go. And so if they Ice Spinner us here, they don't break the terrain, right? Because you need to be able to live. We have Rocky Helmet, they get KO'd by Rocky Helmet, and they don't take away the terrain, so they can't E-Speed our Flutter. You see that, dude? See? See what I mean, dude? It's just so good. It's just so good. Sometimes you just gotta be that guy and be a little bit of indie flutter. And you, you can have this Ogre Pond and you can use your Terra and you can do whatever, but like, I still got all my mons in the back. And you can go poison Terra Lando and then I just bring out like Chiyu and Terrakion and Terrakion, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying. Let's see, is there even a reason to follow me? There's not really that much of a reason to, but I'm still gonna do it in case they in case they fumble the bag. Let's go for the big D gleam here. Cause you have to tear up one of these guys. If you're terastalizing the water pond, right, which is probably ripe. Yeah, your landers are gonna take that fat damage. And let's see what happens. We can still totally lose. They have a lot of damage left on the board. They can protect the Lando. Um, they do that like I get a free pivot. So I wouldn't mind seeing that. Cool, no protects. They're just trying to win the game right now. So the way this is going to work is Water Pond should be able to break the Indity, right? And then I just won I, I outvalue the Lando. Look at this damage. Look at it. Oh my gosh. So much damage. Sludge Bomb. Ooh, they do outspeed with that. I was really surprised to see the Lando outspeed their Water Pond. So that's that's not weird, but like is weird. And then Cudgel's going to pop my Flutter. Uh, maybe get some shots here, boys. Yeah, we're dead there. But if like, honestly... Honestly, if their Lando's faster than their Ogre Pond, that means that they're not faster than my Terrakion, so we should still win. Yeah. Chi well, oh, Terrakion outspeeds everything. We just have to hit a we have to hit a heat wave. I think you just gotta hit heat wave. What if I went, like, Dark Pulse Sacred Sword into, like, Dark Pulse? No, that's not right. You have to Heat Wave. I could also just go, like... No. I, heat Wave's fine. Just hit Heat Wave, dude. Easy. Just easy hit Heat Wave. I do it all the time. I do this all the time. I like this play because it really respects the Lando going Protect. Um, and it still should have enough damage to break the Ogre Pond. Yep, I think Heat Wave's the right play. Nice, yeah. And then I think this gets it. Because the Ogre Pond, even if it takes out the Lando, I think now they have single target damage for us Ogre Pond. We should be enough, even if Sacred Sword doesn't necessarily KO it. So let's see. Let's go damage! Oh, Trakion busted. You Trakion so good! Trakion's so good! And we just win. It's just, sometimes it just do be like that. Dude, easy peasy, lemon squeeze these. Didn't even take damage on my mons in the back. We win.